Welcome students. Today we are going to learn Money Market Unit 2 of the Financial Market and Services. <clears throat> money Market. The money market is a market for financial assets that are close substitute for money. It is a market for overnight to short term funds and instruments having a maturity period of one or less than one year. It is not a physical location like the stock market, but an activity that is conducted over the telephone. The money market constitutes a very important segment of the Indian financial market. There are certain features of money market. It is not a single market, but a collection of the market for several instruments it is a wholesale market of short-term debt instruments its principal feature is on a where the credit worthiness of the participants is important the main players of the money market are the reserve bank of india the discount and finance house of india mutual funds insurance companies corporate investors, non-banking financial companies, the Security Trading Corporation of India. It is need-based market where the demand and supply of money shape the market. There are the certain benefits of the money market. It provides a stable source of funds to the banks in addition to deposits online alternate financing structure and competition. It allows banks to maintain risk arising from interest rate fluctuations and to manage the maturity structure of their assets and liability. An efficient money market encourages the development of known bank intermediaries thus increasing the competition for funds. Savers get a wide variety of savings instruments to choose from and invest their saving. The RBI plays a very important role in the money market. The RBI ensures that liquidity and short-term interest rates are maintained at a level consistent with the monetary policy objectives of maintaining the price stability to ensure an advocate flow of credit to the productive sectors of the economy and to bring about the orders in the foreign exchange market. The Reserve Bank of India influenced the liquidity and interest rates through a number of operating instruments such as cash reserves of the bank conduct of open market operations, changing bank rates, and at a time, foreign exchange swaps procedure. Now, we will discuss the next money market and, in, and its instruments in India. There are five instruments which are very important. The first one is a call money, trust rebills, certificates of deposits, commercial papers, and commercial bills. We will discuss one by one. First, call money market. The call money market is the most common form of the wealth money market. It is most sensitive segment of the financial system, which will reflect clearly any change in it. The call money market is a market for a very short-term funds which are repayable on demands and with a maturity period varying between one day to a fortnight. When money is borrowed or lent for a day, it is known as a call money market. Intervening holidays or a Sunday are excluded for this purpose. When money is borrowed or lent for more than a day and up to 14 days, it is known as a notice money. 
no collateral security is required to cover these transactions the call money market is highly liquid market with the liquidity being exceeded only by cash it is highly risky as well as extremely volatile market now the question arises why there is a need of the call money market call money market is required mostly by banks commercial banks borrow money without collateral from other banks to maintain a minimum cash balance known as a cash reserve requirements this interbank borrowing has led to the development of the call money market cash reserve ratio is an important requirement to be met by all the commercial banks the reserve bank stipulates the requirement from time to time cash reserve ratio is a technique for monetary control affected by the reserve bank for achieving specific macroeconomic objectives such as maintaining desired level of inflation growth and exchange rate cash reserve refers to the cash that banks have to be maintain with the reserve bank as a certain percentage of their total demands and time liabilities the participants in the call money market who took on a role as both leaders and the borrowers were scheduled and non scheduled commercial banks foreign banks state district and urban cooperative banks other borrowing and participants were the brokers and dealers in the security market and sometimes individuals at a high financial status our next instruments of money market is the commercial papers a commercial paper is an unsecured short term promissory note negotiable and transferable by endorsement and delivery with a fixed maturity period it is generally issued at discount by the leading credit worthy and a highly rated corporates to meet their working capital requirement let us take an example if a mukesh ambani needs a funds for the reliance jio for the working capital requirement they can he can issue the commercial paper for the same a commercial papers can be issued to the individuals banks companies and other registered indians corporate bodies and un incorporate bodies banks are not allowed to underwrite or co accept the issue of the commercial papers foreign institutional investors are eligible to invest in commercial papers but with the limits set for their investment by the sebi security exchange board of india there are the certain factors uh, affecting to the growth of the commercial papers such as even even though the minimum size of investment is rupees 5 lakhs retail investors see little scope in investing their money because the amount of investment is very high that is rupees 5 lakh 
CP or the certificate uh, or the commercial papers issues involve administrative difficulties and complex procedural formalities with which hamper the growth of this market. The non-bank institutional investors such as LIC, Life Insurance Corporation, Unit Trust of India and GIC are not a big buyers in this market because of a reserve bank directive limiting their short-term investment in the money market to the trust rebels. There is no active secondary market for the commercial papers, even though efforts have been made by the discounting finance House of India in this direction. The CP market has witnessed up and downs. Corporates too find it hard to enter as there is neither an underwriting facility nor a rollover facility in the case of the certificates of deposit so in the case of the commercial papers. Our next instrument is treasury bills. Treasury bills are known by another name that is TBs. TBs are used by the government for raising the short-term funds from the institutions or the public for, bring, for bridging temporary gap between receipts, both revenue and capital, and expenditure. These are the money market instruments which are issued by the Reserve of Bank of India on the behalf of the central government. These bills are issued when there is a shortage of funds or when the RBI wants to control the cash liquidity in the market. The majority of such bills are also known as a zero coupon bonds or is always one year or less than one year. They are highly liquid instruments and are a very low risk instrument. Treasury bills are issued at a discount than the face value and are redeemed at par. The difference is the interest received by the holder, which in the case will be known as discount. For example, a treasury bill of 108 days face value 50,000 will be issued at 45,000. If the holder holds it for the whole 181 days, he will be repaid rupees 50,000. And so the difference of rupees 5,000 will be the discount. There are the certain features of the trust tables. They are negotiable securities. They are highly liquid as they are of the shorter tenure and there is a possibility of the interbank repos in them. There is an absence of the default risk. They have an assured yield, low transaction cost, and are eligible for inclusion in the securities for the SLR purpose, treasury liquidity ratio. The 91 days treasury bills are auctioned by the RBI every Friday, and the 364 day treasury bills every alternative Wednesday that is the Wednesday preceding the reporting Friday. Treasury bills are available for minimum amount of rupees 25,000 and in multiples thereof. The development of the treasury bill is at the heart of the growth of the money market. Treasury bills plays a very vital role in the cash management in the cash management of the economy. Our next topic is certificates of deposits. Certificates of deposits are unsecured, negotiable, short-term instruments in better form issued by 
commercial bank and development financial institutions. These are the money market instruments which are issued by commercial banks and financial institutions. They are like a promissory note but can also be issued in a DMAC form. Their maturity is between seven days to years when issued by banks. But when issued by other financial institutions, the maturity is between one to three years. Certificates of deposits are issued at discount. The return on them is the difference between the set issue price and their high face value. They are issued only in the multiples of one lakh. They are easily transferable and highly liquid. Certificates of deposits are unsecured, negotiable, short-term instruments in a barrier form issued by the commercial banks and the development financial institution. Certificates of deposits were introduced in June 1989. Only scheduled commercial banks, excluding regional ruler banks and local area banks are allowed to issue them initially. Financial institutions were permitted to issue the certificates of deposit within the umbrella limit fixed by the Reserve Bank of India in 1992. Certificates of deposits are time deposits of specific maturity similar to the fixed deposit. The biggest difference between the two is that certificates of deposit being in a barrier form are transferable and tradable, while fixed deposits are not. Like other time deposits, certificates deposits are subject to SLR and CRR requirement. There is no ceiling on the amount to be raised by the bank. The deposits attract sharp stamp duty as applicable to the negotiable instrument. They can be issued to the individuals, corporations, companies, trusts, fund, associates, and other. There are the certain factors which are going to affect the uh, certificates deposits growth. First, transactions in the secondary markets have not well because the number of the participants are limited, interest rates are quite high, and the certificates of deposits are not listed. There is no facility of the loan against the deposits by the bank, nor banks buy them back prematurely. The market is limited to few investors, as the minimum level of investment is still high. The stamp duty on certificate deposit has also affected their growth. Now, our next top uh, instruments of money market is the commercial papers. According to the Negotiable Instrument Act 1881, a bill of exchange is an instrument in writing containing an unconditional order signed by the maker directing a certain person to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of the certain person or to the barrier of the instrument. Commercial papers, when goods are sold on credit, the seller draws a bill of exchange on the buyers for the amount due. The buyer accepts it immediately. This means he agrees to pay the amount mentioned therein after a certain specified day. After accepting the bill, the buyer returns it to the seller. This bill is called commercial bill or a, a trade bill. The seller may either retain the bill till the maturity or due date or get it discounted from some banker and get immediate cash if he requires. When the trade bills are accepted by the commercial banks, they are called the commercial bills. The, ba the bank deposit this bill by deducting a certain amount that is known as discount and balance is paid to the payer of the bill. A bill of exchange contains a return order from the creditor seller to the debtor to pay a certain sum to the certain person after a certain period. There are the certain features of the commercial bills. 
First, these are negotiable instruments. It means it can be easily transferred from one person to another. These are generally issued for 30 days to 120 days. Thus, they are the short-term credit instruments. Uh, these are set liquidating instruments with low risk. These can be discounted with the bank. When a bill is discounted with the bank, the holder gets immediate cash. This means bank provide credit to the customer. The credit is repayable on maturity of the bill. In case of the need for funds, the banks can re-discount the bills in the money market and get ready money. These are used for set settling the payments in the domestics as well as the foreign trade. The creditors who draw the bill is called a drive and the debtors who accept the bill is called a drive. We have discussed the instruments of the money market and we will discuss capital market relating to the second unit of the financial market and services in the next lecture. Thank you very much.